So, uh, here, here, here's here, here is here, uh, should we fear? A lot of ways to go with that, um, but here is officially a bomb. It's a big misfire, uh, with only $5 million, and here is the new Tom Hanks, Robin Wright, starring film from Robert Zemeckis. Robert Zemeckis, Tom Hanks, and Robin Wright, that's the trio that gave us, back in the day, Forrest Gump. Can you believe that movie? 1994. 30 years ago. So people are sort of saying, they're speculating, well, you know, why isn't um, here, <laughs> here with a big, uh, you know, boatload of cash? Uh, but, you know, because it's Forrest Gump pedigree, and that's the team that gave us, oh, and Forrest Gump, oh, and the screenwriter is back as well. So you've got four of the most important people of Forrest Gump back with this movie called Here. And so the speculation and the kind of wonderment, well, why isn't this working for this big reunion? Uh, and here is, is you know, officially a bomb. It might do, you know, fairly well. But for right now, expectations, all the speculation is that it's a failure. And I think, as I just said, it's, you know, Forrest Gump, if you're going to go by that metric, if you're going to say, well, Forrest Gump, it's legendary, historic. It's it's a great film. I never loved it, though. I admire it for what it is. I, I like it. I don't love it anyway. But I will give Forrest Gump its place. And so it's kind of ancient. It's 30 years ago. Tom Hanks, you know, still a, a big star, but he's not this A-lister drawing butts in the seats like, the MCU, like Marvel, like even the DC, EU, DC, you know, all these comic book movies, these epic big actioners, even say John Wick or, you know, things, action adventure. I guess he had the Da Vinci Code for a while. He was doing the, the Dan Brown series of actioners. But so, you know, I'm still curious to see here. I'd like to, you know, stream it, I guess. But that's what I think ultimately it should have been. And when you think about a multi-million dollar film, you know, feature film distributed in the theaters, where essentially, if you guys know what the premise, the conceit of here is, it is all literally one shot or pretty much one shot of one living room or home, or I guess, you know, we're here. So this home over a span of, I think it's hundreds of years um, or at least um, at least about a hundred years from like sort of colonial days till right up to around COVID. So, you know, you see Tom Hanks and Robin Wright is like one couple, and I think there's two or three more at least. And to me, I mean, it sounds very interesting and intriguing as like a streamer. Back in the day, it would be a made for TV movie, maybe, maybe some sort of mini series. But for a big ticket movie that people are going to plunk down 10, 12, 14 bucks, buckets full of the buttered popcorn in their snacks, I just don't see it, you know? I did hear um, that Robert Zemeckis, who I think is a great director, I really respect him, he had trouble getting the financing, if I believe uh, is, is the way it went. He did get it, obviously, and it went forward, but it just seems like it was ill conceived. So that's what we got on the plate for uh, the the latest sort of bomb, certainly disappointment. Uh, here ain't here. Here ain't here with any money, certainly. Uh, but maybe it might be a great, you know, little, little uh, romp. And uh, I think when all is said and done, a lot of times that's what, you know, these, these big distributors and studios should say. They have this now outlet all these streamers to say, well, are we going to put it in the, you know, the theaters or not? Now, Zemeckis might have been really, you know, demanding or stubborn or, you know, I want this in the theaters. I guess that's what the deal was. But so here ain't here. It ain't bringing in the dough. So, but who knows? It might be fun. Hope you're enjoying. Hope you're subscribing. See you soon.